All right, joined by Benedict and Jordan. We'll start with questions. Justin Spears, Arizona Daily Star, you're up first. Uh, Benedict, great game. Um, obviously, it was your, your your first start, and you know you were entered into the starting lineup. Uh, what, what was your mindset out there tonight? Uh, I feel like I can step on a little bit. Uh, I think the injury of uh, Jamal Bay here, and uh, I just I just went on the court to do what I had to do. And uh, Jordan, uh, from your perspective, uh, how do you assess Benedict's performance? Uh, he did great, you know. Uh, he's out there hitting shots. He got hot during the game, and uh, we just kept finding him. He just kept doing his thing. And uh, for you, coming off the bench, you had a pretty good game as well with, with 25 points. Uh, what was just kind of your goal and your mindset coming off the bench? Uh, kind of just a similar mindset. You know, uh, Jamal Baker went down, uh, unfortunately. So we all did our job just to uh, step up where we can. And, you know, fouling or uh, not committing as many fouls was a, a point of emphasis this week. Um, it looks like you guys did pretty good in that category. How do you think you guys did? Uh, I think we did uh, pretty well, uh, especially in the first half. We kept them out of the, uh, the bonus. And I think we played well through contact, uh, scoring through contact, all of us. All right, we'll move up to Steve Rivera, Steve. Yeah, Benedict, how much more comfortable are you now through 12 games? Um, I feel like I'm uh, getting more comfortable every, uh, every single game. Uh, I feel like my defense improved, uh, improved game by games, so it gives me more uh, confidence in, uh, yeah. You've had some good stretches offensively, obviously, tonight. You were just really comfortable offensively, the three-pointer, uh, shot blocks, things like that, dunks. Um, just It's just just more – playing with more confidence with that as well, just kind of maybe feeling your groove now? Yeah. Uh, I've been in the gym uh, a lot lately, so I was working on my shot, uh, working on things uh, like layups and jump shots, so I feel like – uh, every time I'm going to the gym, I'm getting I'm getting more com uh, more confident. Thanks, Bruce Pasco, Arizona Daily Star. Bruce, hey Ben, uh, I was just wondering, you particularly, you know, Coach Miller talked about wanting to start you because of the offense you could bring right away, and you certainly did that in both halves. I mean. Was that a, you know, was that kind of a point of emphasis for you to, to just make things happen, you know, especially after those first two early possessions, you guys failed and then you went in and got going right away? Yeah, like I said uh, before, I feel like my, my role in the team is to give an impact uh, uh, before I score the ball. But um, the main thing right now is to, um, to play defense, to stop the ball and make my team a better team. What did you think about that, uh, you know, that one sequence you had where you, you, you raced in for the block and then, then on the other court, James finds you for the three there? I mean, was that, you know, was that particularly fun? Were you feeling, feeling anything in that particular moment? Uh, I, was, I was happy that he passed me the ball because um, yeah, during practice also he passed the ball really well. So, yeah, I'm giving, uh, I'm giving him credit for this. All right, we'll move to David Kelly, KVOA. David? Hey, Jordan, just for you, obviously they were in a tough spot tonight having to play, mm -hmm. you know, with the time they took off. How, can you imagine how difficult that was or how difficult that would be to have to, to play a game two days after being off for seven straight days? Yeah, I know uh, that has to be hard. So it's nothing but respect for them. You know, they came out and they battled uh, after having to face that. So, yeah, like I said, nothing but respect for them. Could, could you tell, I mean, could you tell there was a frustration? I mean, they got down in, a, in such a big hole early. Was there a frustration at all that you were sensing from them that, that they couldn't get things going early? Uh, not really, because they still continue to battle. Uh, but, you know, any team would be frustrated in that uh, situation. But I think they did well at uh, battling through it. Bruce Pasco, back to you, Bruce. Hey, Jordan, I was just wondering if you could talk about just or, uh, just your thoughts on, uh, you know, having to come off the bench, which you certainly seem to fill that role. But I don't know if that was, 
you know, frustrating for you to, to, to be doing that for the first time? And, and you know, uh, what did you feel about just having to come in, uh, you know, after looking at things? Uh, I'm just glad, I'm glad I was able to go out there and play. You know, uh, I had a much smaller role when I was in Nevada. So I don't really, it's not really too big of a deal, but I'm starting to come off the bench. Uh, I'm out there, I'm out there, I'm moving, I'm doing what I love, so. Was there anything about, you know, just what Oregon State was giving you when you did get in? I mean, I think the first half you didn't miss a single shot. Just, uh, you know, you know, a determination of you or, you know, anything they were doing that, that you really felt like you were able to take advantage of? Uh, I was just playing hard, you know, doing the things that I work on uh, in the gym whenever I'm in there and uh, just, you know, playing physical, playing strong, uh, playing through contact, all that. All right. Thanks. Ryan Kelp here. Ryan, you're up next. Yeah, Jordan, uh, one reason Coach Miller said he felt like moving you to the bench was the right move was because it would give you a chance to see the game a little bit. How much do you think that that helped you today? Uh, I think it helped pretty well, you know, being able to just uh, kind of settle down in the beginning and kind of just like out there and uh, just give me the opportunity just to come in and uh, just do what I do. Was there anything in particular that you noticed? Well, uh, just sitting. I just, I'm able to see like the pace of the game and stuff and uh, just see like how they're defending and just different things I could uh, uh, look for when I get out there. All right, and we'll go back to end it here with Justin Spears. Uh, Benedict, one of the uh, biggest concerns about your game that we have heard was your shot and how it's still developing. Was that maybe just a, a bad assessment or has your shot evolved throughout the year and has gotten significantly better? Um, I feel like my shot got better. I was in the gym, like I said, uh, just working on my shot every practice, staying after practice, coming before practice. So I feel like it's just about um, practicing my shot and keep improving. Is there anything specifically that you're doing during these workouts or practices that's allowed you to become a better shooter or is it just pretty much just amount of reps that you take? Um, taking shots that I would take in a game. Um, yeah, doing some extra work, taking, like I said, uh, coming before practice, come, uh, staying after practice to get extra shots. And when you're working um, on your shot, are you working with a specific assistant coach or a player or a manager? No, I'm doing with everybody. Uh, I'm, with, I'm, doing, I'm doing it with the person that is uh, with me. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys.